what is the cost of lies? Our goal is the happiness of all mankind. Yeah. So is that not the sole purpose of the apparatus of the state? Because you see, to them, a just world is a sane world. The official position of the state is that a global nuclear catastrophe is not possible in the Soviet Union. By using the right question, we'll give you the truth. There's no truth. There was nothing sane about Chernobyl. We will call it Chernobyl, of course. Do you know anything about this town, Chernobyl? What is its real name? The Vladimir I. Lenin Nuclear Power Station. Exactly. Vladimir I. Lenin. Chernobyl nuclear power plant. I don't think you should go. It could be dangerous. How bad is it? What do you mean dangerous? It's a fire. It's over there. We're over here. The real danger is that if we hear enough lies, then we no longer recognize the truth at all. No, the state tells us the situation here is not dangerous. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. The accident is well under control. Have faith, comrades. And foreign press? Totally unaware. But it is my experience that when the people ask questions that are not in their own best interest. Well, it is beautiful. It is important that we ensure that this incident has no adverse consequences. We seal off the city. No one leaves. Contain the spread of misinformation. Who's the next closest? It's Chernobyl, but that's not possible. They're 400 kilometers away. Something strange has happened. You taste metal. You taste metal. What have they done? What about radiation? Obviously, down here is nothing but in the reactor building and being told 3.6 Ronkin per hour. 3.6 Ronkin? That's as high as it goes. 3.6 Ronkin, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. Well, that's not great, but it's not horrifying. Your face. His face. His face was gone. These are radiation burns. Their clothes are contaminated. I think the true number is much, much higher. Sasha, what do you want, Horace? If it's true, then we're dead. A million people are dead. Is that what you need to hear? I think there's graphite on the ground in the rubble. It's over. You didn't see graphite? I did. You didn't. What? Are you suggesting the core... what? Exploded? Yes. I don't think there's a core. You're confused. RBMK reactor cores don't explode. Comrade Pedovoschenko, what you're saying is physically impossible. A core can't explode. So please tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I don't see how it could explode. I'm not prepared to explain it at this time. But it did. It's disgraceful. Really. To spread disinformation at a time like this. Not letting children play outside. In Frankfurt. And our faith in Soviet socialism will always be rewarded. Our power comes from the perception of our power. There's more radiation than they're saying. Don't deny it, of course. They always do. We will all be rewarded for what we do here tonight. This is our moment to shine. It's not through Rondkin. They gave them the propaganda number. It's 15,000. Means the fire we're watching with our own eyes is giving off nearly twice the radiation released by the bomb in Hiroshima. 20 hours since the explosion, so 40 bombs worth by now. For Belarusia and the Ukraine, impact means completely uninhabitable. It will burn and spread its poison until the entire continent is dead. The Americans took satellite photos. Do you understand the damage this has done? The whole world knows. Do you understand what's at stake? You are dealing with something 
that has never occurred on this planet. And obviously we're going to need to evacuate an enormous area. Never mind that. Focus on the fire. I am focusing on the fire. There are 50,000 people in this city. How many deaths? Thousands. Perhaps tens of thousands. I need all 100 men to gather their equipment and get on the trucks. We're bringing everybody in. Military and civil. To where? That's classified. And what if they're chemicals? <laughs> Not chemicals. <laughs> We're going to Chernobyl. We use bio robots. We'll do it. Because nobody else can. And if you don't, millions will die. Do these work? To an extent. A thousand years of sacrifice in our veins. If these what? You'd be wearing them. You're not as protected. No. Can you tell them they make a difference? Every generation must know its own suffering. What does the radiation do to them? Please, please, please. The arteries and veins spill open like sieves to the point where you can't even administer morphine for the pain, which is unimaginable. When this is over, will they be looked after? I serve the Soviet Union. I serve the Soviet Union. I don't know. You know what we're doing here? Tell those idiots what they have done! Tell fucking Gorbachev! Tell them! I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. If you mean when will Chernobyl be completely safe, the half-life of plutonium 239 is 24,000 years, so perhaps we should just say not within our lifetimes. Something I wanted to ask you, comrade, but I see you're already asking yourself the same question. I want you to tell me everything that happened on the night of the accident. Why did it explode? Why didn't you initiate an emergency shutdown? Why didn't you press the AZ-5 button? I've worked the numbers over and over, presuming the worst possible conditions in an RBMK reactor. And I always get the same answer. Leonid, that's, that's not possible. It's not possible. I flashed it before the explosion. And that's when it exploded. I came off pressed AZ-5, and then the reactor exploded. Why would that happen? I shut it down, I pressed AZ-5. Because if we don't find out how this happened, it will happen again. All we want to know is who is to blame. And? Are they guilty? Yes of gross uh, incompetence. I haven't reviewed. We only just found out we're there. Review it. Recklessness beyond belief. I would like you to record your command. Raise the power. Once it's over, we will have our villains. We will have our hero. We will have our truth. Might the explosion? I'm not sure. The West is now satisfied that Chernobyl was solely the result of operator error, which it essentially was. We did everything right. We did nothing wrong. But we did. I did everything right. I did everything right. But you don't need to be a nuclear scientist to understand what happened at Chernobyl. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. Why on earth would they press that button? They didn't know. They didn't know it. Volkov warned the Kremlin ten years ago. Because it was kept from them. It's, there could be no doubt about the uh, supremacy of the Soviet nuclear industry. Is this really the way it all works? An uninformed, arbitrary decision that will cost who knows how many lives made by some apparatchik, some career party man? The state will never willingly fix the reactors because acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. What you're proposing is that Legasso humiliate a nation that is obsessed with not being humiliated. That is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. The KGB classified it as a state secret. Lies. Professor Legasov, if you mean to suggest the Soviet state is somehow responsible for what happened, then I must warn you, you are treading on dangerous ground. I've already trod on dangerous ground. We're on dangerous ground right now. All victories inevitably come at a cost. In a just world, I'd be shot for my lies, but not for this, not for the truth. 
Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Though I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? Sooner or later that debt is paid. Ah, oh, it's beautiful.